Yo, what is up, YouTube men? For the last few days, I have been trying out all four of the shot timing visual cues, and I have found that set point is by far and away the best visual cues in the game. I'm going to be explaining my firsthand impressions today. If you guys haven't watched that 2K Labs video, though, they do a great job breaking it down in detail. I have two builds I've played on so far, the Stretch Big with an 85.3, and my main build is the Max Wingspan 7-footer with a 74 three-pointer. I've spent about 70% on the Max Wingspan, 30% on this build. I'm shooting 58% from three in 143 games played. It could be better. I've been testing out a lot of jump shots. I've been testing out a lot of the shot timing visual cues. The potential in NBA 2K24 to have a super high shooting percentage is definitely there. And as you can see in the 1v1 theater on this specific build, I'm shooting 70% from three. So I'm going to be showing you guys some full game plays, letting them play out while I talk. So you see, I'm not just cutting clips, showing you guys me making jump shots. You can go into games. Once you've got that shot timing visual cue down, you can make everything. I mean, check this out. You're going to see me hit some yellows today. So set point. It's like early from NBA 2K23, but not exactly. And the reason I like using this jump shot, as you see me hit a yellow contested shot right there, and that's not going to be the only one. Check out this very next play. I just go over, shoot the shot. I don't care about the contest. Set points is releasing the ball when your player is set up in the jump shot. What I mean by that is when my player gets squared up, when he jumps, whenever he's got the ball at the tip of his fingers in front of his head, that is when I release the ball. It took me a little bit to kind of get down, you know. If you're switching your shot timing visual cues, you're going to be shooting slightly early, slightly late, especially if you do it very often. It does it as I hit another yellow shot right here. All of these visual cues work. You don't have to pick a certain one to be able to hit. You can use any of them, but finding one as I get a bulldozer animation right here. Bulldozer on bronze going crazy. This ended up being just, you know, a very nice game. Now you are going to see, I do miss a shot. So by no means am I just absolutely perfect out here. I'm not going to be shooting 100% every single game. There's going to be some human error every once in a while, but... I mean, you know, I'm shooting 80% on three yellow contests. That is going to be plenty fine if you are hitting like that in park, in rec, in my career. It does not matter. Going back to my point, you can watch your player's feet. You can release it whenever he jumps at a certain height. If that is the type of jump shot you have, you can also watch his wrists. Once he gets the arc about to release the ball, you can release it right there. A lot of people have been using push. But when I was using push, it felt like I needed to let go of my X button a little bit after the ball was already out of my hands. Where I preferred, I wanted to release it while the ball was still in my fingertips, so it felt like it was snapping green on the release. Here's another big thing too, man. There's no real good place to shoot around. The Gatorade court, I was going there, testing out some jump shots, testing out some animations, but I'm going to be honest with you. There is a lot of latency. There is a lot of lag in the Gatorade court. So if you go there to shoot around, it's not even going to help you, especially if you're somebody that just holds down the X button. You kind of just learn it that way. I mean, I know there's going to be some people watching that do that. They're not really too focused on their player. They just kind of hold the button a certain time and they release it every single time. In a perfect world, that might work if there wasn't latency see if there wasn't skips I mean the park has been very skippy I know you guys every time you're about to take a shot there's just like that one little jitter that one little millisecond that skips and then you end up shooting a slightly late or slightly early because of that hopefully they will fix the park I mean this is the first year of cross play uh, 2k usually fixes this stuff but if you felt like the park has been awful to shoot in you are correct it has been. It's been very skippy, especially early game. You know, we don't have hot spots. We don't have badges. We're trying to figure things out, and we're in the park, skipping every second. It has been tough. But not only that, there is speed ups in this game. If somebody gets a yellow contest, if somebody even gets one of those opens instead of wide opens, your jump shot is going to speed up. Now, it took me a little bit to get that speed ups down. It felt like the speed ups are a bit faster in this game, NBA 2K24, compared to NBA 2K23. But once you do get them down, that's when you can start hitting these yellow contested shots like crazy. The yellows do not feel bad at all if you're just ready for it, if you're ready to time it now. Something that I will do often is think that they're going to get a contest 
so I plan to hold the button a little bit less because it's going to be speed up. It ends up being wide open and I miss it and vice versa. Sometimes I think the shot's going to be open. They get a contest, so I mistime it like that. I mean, this sounds very nerdy talking about all this stuff to you guys, but I mean, you guys are going to be wondering how I'm shooting so good, how I'm making yellows like that. And this is all the stuff that goes to it. Now, you know, to be honest, you don't have to be that great of a shooter in this game. As long as you can just hit your open shots, as long as you just figure that part out, you are going to be absolutely fine. Shooting contested shots, I mean, yes, it's fun, but if you have time on the shot clock, there's probably a better jump shot you can find. Yo, let me know what shot timing cue you guys have been using. Let me know if you have any recommendations for anybody in the comments. Maybe they test this out and they don't like it. I mean, that's fine. Not everybody is going to like the same visual cues, but if you're asking me, this is the best one in the game, and this is the one that I highly recommend as Laker lays the ball up over this man's head. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, if this helps you out, if you do want to drop a like and subscribe, of course, I appreciate it a ton, and this is Sonic Man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.